hey guys welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome to the party if you are returning sabi you know how much i appreciate you guys even the new subbies welcome 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 so on today's video guys i will be doing a review on renaissance spa which is at michael angelo towers from the moment you enter guys the security is welcoming you entering michael angelo towers security is welcoming they'll direct you know um, take this lift to this floor. I think it's on the eighth floor Then we get to renaissance spa the receptionist ladies are you know, coming nice, you know uh, very friendly um, And the whole process was just quite smooth and then you know, they ask you are you here for the first time? This was actually both of our first times uh, And so they showed us around so they showed us the outdoor area which has a very beautiful beautiful pool with the views of buildings around Santin so that was really really amazing and you know you can order your food there you can have your drinks there and then they also showed us inside where you can just have like some water um, and coffee or tea cappuccino or where they have also like a jacuzzi and also just a nice chill um, section which was also really really nice from there we filled in so we did fill in like a COVID form we also filled in the form where you specify if you have any medical conditions um if you have any skin problems and all of those things so we filled that so the place is quite nice they also showed us our lockers where we can keep our stuff the bathrooms are clean nice the place looks beautiful it's just absolutely gorgeous and when you're sitting just by the place where they have the jacuzzi it's like you can almost see outside because like has an open type of scenery it's like it's not open it's closed but it's like glass so you can see outside so it's like really really beautiful uh, and then so we went for our treatment so i had the massage the massage was really really uh, awesome excellent the lady was really nice you know she was welcoming she made me feel comfortable she was also like oh is it you soft enough how do you like it you want it to be harder she kept asking is it still okay and it was really really blissful it was lovely i loved it uh, i almost fell asleep <laughs> but yeah and then after that um <clears throat> and then i also had like a facial which um you know i felt was very comprehensive you know she did the scrubs you know she did the mask um and they were using like a mint flavored um thing on my face which was like which burnt me like a little bit it felt like my skin is literally burning but she explained that you know it's just the mint and all of those things um so yeah the facial was um good however i felt like at the end of the facial she did ask me you know um do you want any products and i felt like okay fine i wasn't uh, planning to buy any products because i don't usually like using like too many products on my face but she didn't sell it to me in the first place even if i was wanting to buy you know um i don't know if i'm comparing apples and oranges but um normally when i go like to the spa you know the person who's doing me will be like your face is like this she did actually point out that i need to exfoliate more and that i need to use more like sunscreen on a daily basis because even like the screen of the phone as well as like the laptop and all of those things they can cause damage so sunscreen actually protects you even from that so you should apply it all the time so ding ding listen for all of us so yeah but i felt like she didn't recommend enough to make me want to buy i remember i was at um one and only i think it was in cape town but you know the lady she made me want to buy all of those products because she was like you need to use a b c and d product this is what we have you know it's good for this and this and you need to use it like this so she actually sold to me the products that they have there so honestly uh, on that part um it wasn't so great because i don't even know what products they were selling um she did recommend you know that i need to use sunscreen and exfoliator but other than that she didn't like say we have so and so cream that you need to use for this you need to this and this to have the perfect skin or to have you know so she didn't like sell it to me yeah so that was like obviously just an offish point for that and then another thing that i did was the manicure and pedicure so she did my toes and then um you know she did my my hands so um i think i smudged the first time you know when she did them so so I, she put the nail polish it was on for a while i just assumed that you know it's probably dry by now i'm really not used to anymore to just doing nails where they don't use that you know um lamp to dry the nails so it's like i think I, it was probably like 10 or so minutes later and anyways it smudged and then she was like no it's fine then she put it on me again i don't know if it's the layers the number of layers she puts the nail polish is wet 
but after the treatment i waited for like 10 minutes to like 15 minutes uh for the nail polish to dry and it still was not dry guys i was like okay sadly i had a guest so i was like okay my guest is already waiting for me for like 20 minutes or 30 minutes so it's really not fair for me to wait any longer for the nails to dry so i just I was like okay if they smudge again it's fine you know and and now the funniest part so i go to reception and you know they're like how was the treatment blah 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 i was like a little bit annoyed i'm not gonna lie to you because you're not trying to leave the spa with your nails looking like this you know what i mean because i was also like those lamps are quite affordable like i got mine i have mine at home i got it for like 300 rand on take a lot you even get ones for like 200 and all of those things so i was just also like but anyway so I get to reception, so, and they're like, you know, how's the treatment? And, you know, I tell them, it's just, I wish you guys had, like, a lamb. And they're like, oh, no, we're so sorry. Um, they kept smudging, blah, blah, blah. And that was it. I was like, <laughs> what? If I was managing the place, you know, I would have been like, ma'am, we are so sorry that you have to go home like this from a spa. Uh, but you know what? We will give you, like, a voucher for you to come and do your nails. It's nail polish, guys. It's not even gel or anything. You know it's not even any treatment so it's really not even expensive you know what i mean so i would have just been like i'm so sorry ma'am that you had to go through that uh we're just gonna give you a voucher if you do have like some time in the next coming days you can just come and we will do like your nails or whatever the case is just for like courtesy i probably wouldn't have gone back because i'm not gonna go all that way now just to go do nail polish on my nails especially because i have um the nail polish thing you know in the house but it's just like courtesy and just that you know treatment you know what i mean so anyway yeah that was that so i went um like that um also another thing was their um spa rooms or massage rooms so when you walk there i'll show you guys the video when you walk there when you walk in there i mean it's not really even like posh nice looking or even like clean you know the cables are everywhere it's not like it's just yeah so yeah so that was my whole experience at renaissance day spa um so overall i think just based on everything i would probably give them like two to three star at the most things so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you are not yet subscribed i don't know what you're waiting for hit that subscribe button and see you guys soon